Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna create our main menu. So the first thing that the player is gonna see when they start the game. So we need to go to my uh, stuff in under the map, and I'm gonna open the main menu map. So as you can see, that one is already empty. So and here it's where our menu is. So if you go there, when we start, we're gonna see around there so it's what we're gonna see so what we can do is we can just remove that because we don't really need a player start because we don't want a player in it so if we do play you see it's spawning our player you know somewhere else so we can go to our map itself and under the overall setting and the game menu override here you know we don't want any pounds so i'm just gonna remove no pound so if I do play now you know it's just popping me right here somewhere in the level right so we're gonna need to place something a camera or around those line that is gonna you know overlook our level or something that we want so the default pound so we have to create a new pound with maybe just a camera in it itself so Let's try to do this. So we're gonna go into blueprint here and we're gonna create a new blueprint class and we're gonna create pound and I'm gonna call that uh, blueprint underscore main menu pound. I'm gonna open it and this, I believe I'm just gonna put a camera. So let's try it out and just compile and we don't need anything else. So we can close it so now we can go back to our main menu and put a pound in it so we have a camera so you see you can align the camera the way you want and where you want your menu to be you know so i'm going to put something like this for example and i'm going to put it down you know you can play with it so it's going to be something around those line and i'm going to make my menu right in front of this so what we're going to do now is we're gonna go to our where it is oh, it's not open we're gonna go to our widget and we have our main widget here that we're gonna have our menu in it so so what we can do is opening this and First thing we're gonna need to do is adding a canvas panel. So let's do this. I'm gonna drag that down here. And we're gonna add a vertical box that's gonna contain all our buttons. So we have a vertical box, same as usual. We're gonna anchor that to the middle of the screen. We're gonna reset the position X and Y to zero. And we're gonna align that to 0.5 so it's perfect in the middle for us. We're gonna make sure it's size to content. And we're gonna search for a button. Uh, there we go. Drag that to our canvas panel, and we're gonna search for text that we can put our text over the button. Right. So the first thing that's gonna be is just play, right? So because we want to play the game, so our button we're gonna rename that, and we're gonna call that play button, and our text will be. Play, play text and the text itself will be play and now our button is looking good so we can click on our button and changing the color so the other will we're having a full red so it's what we're gonna put a full red and the text itself had an outliner of two so let's put two so now our button is good so what we can do is just click on the button and we can just duplicate that. This button will be our control button. So control button. So when we're gonna click on this, it's gonna display the control of the game for us. So we're gonna go on our text and I'm gonna call that control text. And the text itself, the content of that text, we're gonna be putting controls. So now we can duplicate once again this button create it 
button and the text will be credit text and the text itself will be credit so we can duplicate that once again and this time it's going to be just quit game so it's going to be a button to quit game so just quit button then i click on our text make sure it's quit text and here it's going to be quit game there you go so now now our menu is created so we can add the little sound that we have here same so we're just going to search to it so we can add it selected that way when we go on our main menu we can just use that little arrow to put it there you go perfect you know we could have create you know a widget button and using that button instead of you know doing the work each single times but you know i just decided to do it that way i think it's easier to understand than just having a widget blueprint and moving your widget blueprint that contain your button in it you know if you have different maps you can have play open another widget that contain all your map and you play your map there but we're gonna do something uh very simple so from that one we'll start we just need to open a level when we do play so we're gonna go all the way down we're gonna create uh, not create but we're gonna open the level by name and as you remember our level name is our main menu map which is um that's our main menu map but it is uh the first person map so this one here so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna copy the name make sure it's spelled the same so when we click play it's gonna open this map so we're gonna go back to design your tab so we're gonna click on the control here we're gonna go all the way down on click and we're gonna drag from that so we're gonna remove this one from parent so remove from parent so we have to remove this widget itself from parent so let's do that so we don't have to do a target because we are already in that menu for us so we're already good for that so we're gonna remove that from parent we're gonna create a widget blueprint and it's gonna be our option not our option though, our control so let's select our control we need to make sure that we had this to uh, the viewport so we can see it right it's really important otherwise it's going to create it but we won't be able to um to see it so from there now i think we're good for that so we're going to compile so we're going to go all the way down credit we're going to click on credit and this one's going to be the same thing so if we click on that we're going to remove it from a parent so we're going to remove that widget from our parent we're going to open a new widget so create a widget and we're going to make sure that we add this to our viewport add to viewport right and we're going to select we don't have it here but we need our credit right so we're going to go back to our widget itself and we need credit so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the control one and i'm just going to duplicate it and i'm going to call that credits oh my god i don't know what to spell i guess credits there we go and i'm going to open it and i'm just going to you know remove those uh two vertical books so we have our credit and our button is already set up for us so if we go there and we look on our button it's creating back to our pose menu but this time we don't want the pose menu we want to make sure it's go back to our main menu so we're going to make sure we select main menu we're going to compile that go back to the designer tab and quit game so same as earlier we're going to click and we're just going to type quit game so that way it's quitting the game for us so we're all set up for that so we're going to have to test this out see if it's work uh, we need to make sure that we are getting our credits here when we click on credit there you go we're all good with that so i'm just going to do a comment for 
each quit game credits controls play game there you go. so I'm gonna select all of the comment box and make sure I show bubble so I can see it when I zoom out okay so we're gonna have to try this out see if that menu is working for us to make it work we have to do a few things first uh, so we're gonna go on the content browser under map uh, my stuff here under widget you can see here we have a control one right a widget blueprint or control so we're gonna duplicate this one and it's gonna be control main menu and we're gonna open it so the only reason why I'm doing this is if you remember when we press P it's going it's going to open a pause menu but when we click back it's bringing you back to that pause menu right so if we go here on back you see it's going back to the pause menu however when we're in the main menu so the first menu that the player see when they start the game we don't want them to go to the pause menu because it's not going to make sense and when we play the game we don't also want to go to the main menu so it's going to do some confusion it's not going to work so by having two control menu what we can do is selecting our widget blueprint and just selecting the control menu here so when we click back it's going to bring us back to the main menu itself and we're going to save this and if we look at the other control menu when we click back on this one right it's going to is bring us back to the pause menu so it's exactly what we want because we don't want to bounce back and forth between those two or you know when you play the game you just want to look the control and it's bring you back outside the game to the pause menu uh, not to the pause menu to the main menu so we want to avoid this so by having two control we fix that issue so here under control here we need to make sure that we select the widget blueprint with control main menu right and we compile this perfect so now we're good with this so if we go back to our main map we want you know to be able to spawn our menu somewhere here right so the first thing we have to create that menu so we're going to open the level blueprint and in the level blueprint the only thing we have to do is creating a widget blueprint we're going to select our main menu we're going to make sure that we add this menu to the viewport so we can see that menu on the screen and we want to make sure that we see the mouse cursor so we can select the options for us right so when this is done we're gonna go back on the main map and on the main map we're gonna need a player start so we're gonna place a player start where we want our menu to spawn so somewhere here so it's gonna look in that direction like this and the menu will be around here however you're gonna need a new game mode maybe you know you have the game over right here when you start and you see here it's selecting uh, the game menu that I created earlier so I'm gonna show you what I did so exactly you're gonna go to the print the your blueprint here and you see I have the uh, menu game mode here so what I did I just went down to the first person character a folder and I have the first person uh, game mode here so what I did I just drag it up to my blueprint here and I changed the name to uh, menu game mode I open it and here under the default pound I put our menu pound that we did at the beginning of the video so by having that when we start the game on the main menu map we need to make sure that under the wall setting we have that game mode override so that one that you just created this one here the main menu game mode so it's going to select the uh, pound auto uh, the pound that we created so the main menu pound and when we load the game it's going to create uh, it's going to overwrite with the first person game mode 
was going to be able to play with our character. If we try to use the same one, it's not going to work. So we need two different ones. So with that, you place your uh, player start where you want. You set up what I just showed you. And if you click play, you should have your menu here, right? So you have your menu. If I move my player start, you see that the menu now I'm moving a little bit on the side, right? So if I move it again, see if it's worked well. You can see it's moving on the side of the level now. So we have our menu with a sound. So if we click quit game, it's working. So it's quitting. So if we do play again and we go to credit, it's bringing us to the credit. And we click back, you go back to that menu. If we click control, you can see the control of the game. And if you go back, you see here, it's not working. So we have to set up this one. We want to make sure that we are selecting our main menu. Compile. So we're going to try this again. So we go to control. It's opening the control main menu. We'll click back. It's bringing us back to our main menu. And if we click play, we're now in the game. So if I press P, and I click option, I get access to my option. I can go back, bring me back here and go to control, which is the same that we duplicated, but we just changed the name. If I click back, it's bringing me back to my pause menu. If I do play and go back in the game. So you can see that it's working perfectly for us. So that's pretty much this. So I will catch you on the, the next one.